Here is the 11 o'clock news. According to an unconfirmed report from Kennedy Space Center, the space shuttle Discovery has been hijacked. The hijacker, an unidentified man in his early 20s, apparently climbed the perimeter fence, gained access to the launch pad, and secured control of the shuttle. He claims to have smuggled on board enough anthrax to wipe out the whole of America's eastern seaboard, and to have strapped to him a bomb which he will detonate if his demands are not met. It is believed that he has asked to be put into orbit. His reasons are so far unknown. The President has placed all security forces on red alert. We have received unconfirmed reports that F-18 fighters have been scrambled for possible interception. Citizens in the area have been told to stay calm, but be ready for possible evacuation. In other news today, in Orlando, Florida, Christian evangelists Jim and Tammy Baker were questioned after local authorities became suspicious following their purchase of 310 hamsters at their local pet store. The bakers claimed that they were rescuing the hamsters from a life on the treadmill and denied all allegations of sexual misconduct. Animal rights activists demanded further investigation given the bakers' record. This is not the first time they have been spotted in a pet shop buying unusually large numbers of small furry animals. Here are the results of today's matches. Juventus, one. Liverpool, three. Arsenal, two. Tottenham, two. Chelsea, four. Manchester United, nil. USA, four. Taliban, one. Israel, three. Palestine, two. England, three. Argentina, one. Maggie Thatcher scored a hat-trick. Russia, two. Chechnya, four. NATO, one. Iraq, two. The match was abandoned because of bad weather. France, one. Mururua Atoll, nil. USA, one. Libya, nil. And Reagan was sent off.